on, on, on faith toward God. Amen. And Jesus is warning us that there are storms coming in each of our lives. Amen. And there are storms that will blow against the church. They'll blow against your life. They'll blow against your family. They'll blow against your home. But when built upon Christ, on Christ, what? The solid rock I stand. Yes. All other ground is what? Sink and sand. Amen? Sure. Amen. But when built upon Christ, when built upon the rock, when built upon the word of God, the church, the house, and our lives will not fall apart when the storms blow in. Amen. Not if the storms come and blow, not if they come, yeah. but what? When. when the storms come and blow. Many are in a storm right now. And many others, the wind and rain just stop blowing and falling. And many are wondering, what do I do now? Now that the reality of what took place has set in. Amen. It's like how you watch on television. And you see the, the devastation left by a tornado. Where folks are standing out in front of their house and they whole house is gone. Ain't nothing left but sticks and, and, and concrete. And, and they digging through the rubble trying to find something, a picture or something. And that's in the spirit how many of us look when our lives get tore up. Rummaging through the rummaging through the rubble. I'm trying to put your life back together again. Amen. Talk to somebody that's been through a divorce. Amen. Amen. Talk to somebody that's been through the death of, 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 of a child. Mm. Come on now. Go ahead. See, we got to understand, see, that as God is trying to help us, we got to stand back and pay attention to what he's talking about here. Amen. Amen. Now, to do this, this takes faith in God. Yes. Amen. This takes trust in God. The kind of faith that God gives. Amen. The kind of trust that man calls foolishness. Oh, that's utter foolishness. For them that are unsaved, it is just outlandish foolishness. But to us that are saved, those of us that are believers, it is the power of God. Amen? Go back to 1 uh, Corinthians 1. Look at verse 18. You, now, now, if you're going to be around me, then keep your Bible ready. Amen. Because we go, the foundation of the word is what we do around here. Yeah. I don't know where you come from, I don't know how you was raised, but around, around here. <laughs> we use the word. Amen. Verse 18. First Corinthians 1, verse 18. It says, For the preaching of the cross is to them that what? Perish. Perish what? Foolishness. He's perishing. He said, Preaching is foolishness. But unto us which are saved, it is what? The power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. I will bring to what? Nothing. The understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the dispute of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by what? Wisdom knew not God. Amen? Amen. So, this faith toward God, this trust in God and in His Word, trust and faith in the preaching of God's Word and the preaching of the cross, God uses to save those that believe. See, when you, when you come into salvation, when you come into this salvific message of, of the cross, amen, you got to believe this right there. See, because when you look at that, just from a natural eye, that don't look too good. Especially when you think about he was naked when, when they put him up there. Amen. Amen. Now, uh, come here. Touch it right there. Now don't rub your hand on it, but, but just touch it. Now, what do you think about that? You want your naked skin up, up against this? Huh? I feel rubbed on it. See? And so we got to understand the purpose of this old rugged cross. Amen? Thank, thank you, sir. See, so when we look at this thing, it, 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 it's like, well, wait a minute. How the hell is that going to help me? Amen? How do you know what I'm talking about? When you first got saved, when you was coming to Christ, how is the cross, how is me preaching about death going to help you? Amen? Amen. That's what he's talking about, this, this understanding. Amen? That the world's causes 
foolishness. But God says that type of preaching is the power of God. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. See, we got to come to this understanding and reality and realization. What do he mean by that? He sent his son Jesus from heaven through a virgin who was 13 or 14 years old. She got pregnant. Amen. And he intersected heaven and earth through this virgin girl, brought the baby in un unassumingly, amen, through a manger. He brought in what? Power, ushered it into the earth, unawares, amen. Well, see, Herod was trying to kill the baby because they was talking about this king. <laughs> amen. But see, then there's, there's preaching of, of foolishness. See, 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 it says, for the preaching of the cross, to them that perish is foolishness. But to those of us that believe, it's what? The power of God. Now, it takes something to believe that, don't it? First, you got to believe in something that you can't see. Because man tells you that seeing is what? Believing. If I see it, I can believe it. But Jesus wants them that believe without seeing. Oh, come on now. We buy everything else. Huh? They say go to college and get you a get you a degree to get you a good job. <laughs> Didn't they? Yes. You ever been to college? Got yes. Huh? I'm talking about before you went. No. No, you didn't know. But you believe what they said though, didn't you? No. Huh? The army tell you, you know, <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on in, we'll make you a soldier. Army of one. I know that ain't the phrase no more, hey, amen. And you believe that? I'm going to be a captain in the military. I'm going to be a sergeant major in the army. Joe, you ain't, you ain't put on your now. You know, especially when the basic training is like, I ain't going to make it. How <laughs> I many I'm talking about? I, woo, I got first week, I was ready to go. I'm trying to, I, 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 I told, I told, I told Chris, like, hey, Get my wife on the phone. <laughs> Let me go ahead and call my wife. Come get me. I can't. <laughs> you know what he did? He gave me a toothbrush and a bar of soap to go to the bathroom. That's what I'm going to do with this. So I'm going to show you. Send me in the middle of the floor with a toothbrush and a bar. That old arm, that's the new arm. They're not going to do that. I had a bar of soap and a toothbrush and he hit it with a little water and I was doing the floor to crash it. I said, man, will somebody call my wife? <laughs> she saw me doing this, but she would pour Lord have mercy. But by the time I went through basic training and got, got an AIT and got what? Reprogrammed. Huh? That time I saw her, I was calling her Pratt. Come here, Pratt. <laughs> I was I was soldiering her. Glory to God. But see, but it's the same thing when we come into Christ. You come and get an understanding this stuff, you must go out and make soldiers. Come here, soldier. Be a good soldier for Christ. Stand up straight. Pray every day. Glory to God. The power of God. The blood of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Glory to God. I'm the head and the, not the tail. Glory to God. Because Christ is my Savior. Yeah, yeah. That's how you're supposed to be. Yeah. But we don't do that. Mm. Mm. You say, yeah. <laughs> oh, you a, you a punk Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious. What the hell going to be scared of you? Huh? Go ahead. But private demon, when you at your house, <laughs> all he got to do is say what? Amen. And that, that's a buck private thing. He, he, he just throws something from in, from, in, from in the dark. Break something. What was that? Get out. Come on, kids. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. See, but this preaching of the cross, God used to save those that believe. Amen. Amen. But when we are raised according to the wisdom of man or the, the traditions of men, it makes it difficult, but not impossible, yes. to turn from what was once our safety net 
and toss it aside and pick up the cross.